Bangladesh, too often at the mercy of extreme weather, densely populated and low-lying, it's one of the 10 countries most vulnerable to the impacts of a changing global climate. So how can millions of Bangladeshis protect their families and their incomes? A joint team of academics from Bangladesh and the UK are looking at the impact of climate change on migration. Their research, commissioned by the Bangladesh government, could help provide the answer and shape better public policy. Whenever people are in stress, they do use migration as one of the adaptation tool. In the climate change scenario as well, people are using migration naturally, intuitively, they are just migrating. Rashid Alam Bhuya is one of the migration researchers. We are travelling with him across Bangladesh to understand what makes it so vulnerable to extreme weather, to meet some of the people who are forced to move and others who are choosing to stay put and find out if migration could be part of the answer for people in the front line of climate change. We are heading to the south of Bangladesh, into the deltas of South Asia's great rivers, the Ganga, Brahmaputra and Meghna, a region that is highly prone to flooding. In May 2009, Cyclone Isla hit the coast of Shatkira, causing a tidal wave that flooded villages and fields with salt water for many months destroying the livelihoods of nearly four million people. The Munda tribal community, living on the island of Gabura, faced the worst onslaught. Muhammad Didarul Islam, their leader, wants the policy makers to hear their plight. <laughs> আমাদের এই ডিবি ইউনিয়ন যদি আবার এরকম ধরনের জলচ্ছাস হয় পানি বৃদ্ধি হয় আমাদের নিশ্চিত মৃত্যু ছাড়া আর বিকল্প কোনো পথ আমাদের ভিতরে নেই আর যদি বেশি গেলাম তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে জীবন জীবিকার জন্য এই নিয়ত বাইরে ছুটতে হবে আইন কামের জন্য বাচ্চা কাচ্চা পড়ার জন্য মা বোন পড়ার জন্য তাদের লেখাপড়া তাদের বাস স্থান এসবগুলো করার জন্য তো করতে হবে সাইক্লোন আইলা লেফট 190 ডেড বাট দ্য লটস অফ লাইফ কুড হ্যাভ বিন ফার ফার হায়ার a cyclone in 1991 killed 190,000 people. For the past 20 years, Bangladesh has made huge progress to protect lives with measures like cyclone shelters and 700 kilometers of sea defenses. But protecting people's income remains a challenge. And whether to stay or to go is a dilemma faced by families all along the Shatkira coast. Ayub Ali is the sole breadwinner for his family of six. He fishes in the Sundarbans, a source of survival for most families here. Ayub chose to stay although it means living with constant fear and hardship. His brother, Abdul, chose to leave. I left. I left. I left. I left. I Abdul and his wife, Rumi Noor, left the coastal region of Shatkira with their four daughters and headed inland to Khulna, 70 kilometers away. For the Noor family, moving away proved to be a good decision. But migration isn't always just as simple as moving out of danger. Migration is a manifestation of many reasons. Social, emotional, cultural, individual's attitude, all these contribute to migration decision. 
and when it comes to climate change, it becomes more complicated. At Dhaka University, Dr. Siddiqui and her team of social scientists have been researching how communities respond when hit by extreme floods and droughts and how they use different forms of migration to cope. People on their own has chosen that a section of them would migrate and send certain remittances to these families and then try to sustain with the economic hardship. The research team has been following one community which typifies this type of migration. So we are travelling up to the drought-stricken north of Bangladesh where breadwinners virtually live on the go and send money back to their families. Rashid's meeting Salahuddin. He used to farm here but can't make a living from it anymore. His problem started a decade ago when the water table fell sharply and the rains failed. চারদিকে তাকালে স্যার বোঝা যায় যে আপনার সবা খাকার করছে এলে তো আপনার কোনো ধান হয় না ধান হলে এক আটটা ধান হয় স্যার তো এলে না হয় ধরে তো এবারকার ধরেন যে যেভাবে হোক সংসার তো চালাইতে হবে এখন এই ধান ধরেন যে দু চার বছর থেকে পানিটা নিয়ে দিকে ভালো মতন হয় না তারপরে ধরেন যে কি এখন করছে যে যা পাচ্ছে করছে এখন তারপরও না হলে এখন বাধ্যতামূলক ঢাকা যে সে খাটতে নো ওয়ার্ক ফর দ্যান হিয়ার the only way to feed their families is to find jobs in the city. The research team follows Salahuddin back to Dhaka to see his unending journey. In Dhaka, Salahuddin lives in the hub for migrants in Norda, close to the popular diplomatic enclave of Gulshan. Here he's one of the half million rickshaw pullers who help keep the city moving. খুব ছোট থাকতে আমি আসছিলাম ঢাকাতে রিকশা চালিয়ে 10 11 বছর ধরে 10 11 বছর Salahuddin works about 12 to 14 hours a day for at least 20 days without a break. The economics are simple. For Salahuddin to make any money for his family, he must first pay 100 taka, a dollar and 25 cents for the rental of the rickshaw and then another 100 taka or $1.25 for his stay and food whatever he makes above this is what he takes back home once he feels he has collected enough money he starts his monthly journey from his village to the city and back so migration not just a reaction to climate change but a coping mechanism that people undertake intuitively and creatively often without any external support dr siddiqui thinks it's one way that communities are coping which so far has not received the attention it deserves government so far is not looking at migration rather government is thinking that all their interventions are targeted towards so that people don't move from the area i think donor community also by and large think in that direction and that is where we come in that don't think of migration as a threat think of migration as a one of the strategy that can help people to cope under a change situation where climate stresses are making their lives difficult in bangladesh policies promote international migration not internal movement internal migrants who come from rural areas to large cities like dhaka have no official status while residents of these cities from similar socio-economic background as that of salahuddin have an advantage over him and other migrants as they have government issued identification and are therefore accorded rights that they belong to the city while migrants like salahuddin who don't are not accorded the same rights this lack of government support is a problem for people like salahuddin it means they tend to live in the very worst housing and can only access jobs in the informal sector with no official recognition 
they are especially vulnerable to exploitation by unscrupulous employers. This is one reason why Salahuddin's friend, Ziaul Rahman, who has been migrating for 15 years, juggles two jobs. The first as a rickshaw puller and the other as a mason in one of Dhaka's suburbs. আমি রাজমিস্ত্রি কাজ করি কিন্তু রাজমিস্ত্রির কাজের মধ্যে আর একটা সমস্যা আছে যে নিয়মিত টাকা পয়সা লেনদেনটা ঠিকমতো হয় না যদি নিয়মিত পরিশ্রম রোজগার করতে পাই তাহলে মোটামুটি ভালোই চলে আর নইলে তো যে কয়েকদিন বসে থাকি ওটা তখন ঘাটতি যায় তাই আমি মাঝে মাঝে রিকশা চালাই আমার একটু আল্লাহ ভাগ্যের পরিবর্তন করলে আমি ওই দেশের দিকে কৃষি কাজের সাথে জড়িয়ে থাকি সো হোয়াট ডাস দা गवर्नमेंट থিংক ইজ দা ওয়ে আহেড I think it's a very timely study. Since we are the worst victims, Bangladesh also feel the urges of migration policy uh, to secure those people who are the worst victims of uh, climate change. We are badly in need of uh, formulating such uh, policies related to migration or climate change induced migration. So mega city development takes into account that these people should have their right, their work condition should be in a better position, minimum wage should be ensured and all these can be done through preparing an internal migration policy and then following it up with the employers. So everywhere certain order certain type of rights protection mechanism we would like to see out of this research Bangladesh has made great progress in protecting people's lives from floods droughts and cyclones but the economic impacts of disasters on livelihoods continue to be huge helping climate migrants to help themselves with social policies to protect their rights could be an important part of the answer